This morning, the January 6th committee saying for the first time that it believes former President Donald Trump committed crimes after the 2020 election, writing in a new legal filing that it has reason to believe Trump and his campaign, quote, engaged in a criminal conspiracy to defraud the United States. It comes during a dispute between lawmakers and a Trump attorney, John Eastman, who has been refusing to turn over his emails. But the committee says Eastman is not protected by attorney-client privilege because of an exception related to crime or fraud. We've amassed overwhelming evidence about a fake election. Saying Trump and his team defrauded the United States by lying about the outcome of the 2020 election and alleging they pressured officials to change results. Releasing excerpts of a deposition from an official describing Trump's pressure on the Justice Department, who testified, quote, he wanted us to say that it was corrupt. The committee focusing on Trump and Eastman's pressure of Vice President Mike Pence, noting Trump's tweet as rioters were at the Capitol attacking Pence and that afterwards Eastman emailed a Pence aide, quote, this siege is because you and your boss did not do what was necessary. Trump recently doubled down on that pressure, saying in a statement this January that Pence had a right to change the election, which the former vice president rejected. President Trump is wrong. The committee itself isn't a prosecuting body. They can't file charges against anyone. But this filing sends a message to the former president that they believe the Justice Department should. And Eastman's attorney told NBC News overnight that his client has a responsibility to protect communications with his client, Mr. Trump, even at great personal risk and expense, and that they'll respond to this filing in due course. No word yet from the former president. Savannah. All right, Garrett Haig on the Hill for us. Thank you, Garrett. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.